Hi, I'm Mark Pezzolato of Pesmosis Music Productions, and today we're going to be talking about word clock. If you've never heard of a word clock before, what it is, it's uh, the language with which the computer talks to uh, various hardware and audio equipment uh, to sync them up correctly for recording. And there's, uh, there's different recording formats that you can record in. Typically, uh, CD quality is 44.1 kilohertz. And kilohertz is, is the frequency range with, with which we record in. Uh, you'll typically see high definition movies more, more recorded at a higher rate, such as 96 kilohertz. Um, and the difference between the two is exactly like if you were to watch just say cable television, but then switch to a high definition channel, you'll notice the difference right away in the picture quality. You'll see that there's more pixels, the picture's clearer. Uh, the same thing happens with audio. With audio, if you're recording at, uh, say, CD quality, 44.1 kilohertz, it's not going to be as clear as if you were to record at DVD quality. The difference is, though, that you're going to be taking up a lot more computer power when you are doing 96 kilohertz or 88.2 kilohertz as opposed to 44.1 or 48. If you're not quite sure what all that means, uh, there's plenty out there that, that you can look up and we can, um, we can definitely, if you give me an email, pez at pezmosis.com, I can send you some information on that as well. But we're dealing with the word clock, and I just wanted to show you these two pieces of gear here. I have the Yamaha DM1000 board, which hooks up directly to the computer. Before I even get into any recording program, I have to decide exactly what the computer is saying to the, to the DM1000 and vice versa. And the way that works is you have to choose whether... Uh, you, one of these is the master and one of these is the slave. So what that means is one, either the computer or one piece of audio gear, and you can hook up more than one piece of audio gear, it all has to correlate. One has to be saying, hey, this is what we're working with, and your other pieces of gear have to follow suit. So the way we have it here set up here, you can see on the screen, it says word clock master. And the word clock master is not the computer, the PC, it's actually the DM1000. So the DM1000 is telling the computer what rate we're recording at. And we have to make sure that they're both the same. So here it is. We can change the sample rate, 44.1, 48 kilohertz, 88.2, and 96. So I'm going to change this to 88.2. I'm going to change my board to 88.2. update that and connect. Now this is the process with which you do it with the DM1000 to a PC but there's many different programs out there for you to do word clocks. There's even uh, separate hardware. There's even word clocks in themselves that if you have a lot of pieces of gear which uh, most uh, professional recording studios do they'll have a separate word clock. So if you have any questions Contact me, Mark Pezzolato, Pesmosis Music Productions, pez at pesmosis.com. Thanks for watching.